Um, Andy has asked if I wouldn't mind doing a kind of video reflecting on how I found lockdown, the challenges, the things that I've learned. And I thought I would start off with the challenges and work away to obviously the positives. One of the things that I found quite challenging is not being able to see my mum and dad and knowing that if I do go and see my mum and dad that I can't spend very long with them, that I can't hug them. Um, knowing that if when they're going through a difficult time at work that I can't be there physically to support them. Um, and knowing that I might not be able to spend Christmas with them is something that I know a lot of people are worrying about at the moment. Another thing that I found challenging at one point during lockdown was I pulled a muscle in my leg but at the time it seemed like it could be something a bit more serious so I had to go to the hospital to get an x-ray and the thought did cross my mind, gosh if this is something serious um, I'm going to have to find out on my own, I won't have my partner there to hold my hand, I won't have my mum there to hold my hand and so that thought was quite scary. However, on to the positives, I've had a chance to reassess what it is that I would want to do for a living. I've had the opportunity to find a job that I really do care about and is very fulfilling. So I've been incredibly lucky in that respect. I've had more confidence and in getting involved more with the church. I, I feel like I probably wouldn't have had the confidence before to do a reading if it hadn't been virtually. So that's been good. Um, I've been very fortunate in the sense that I have a sister who lives really nearby, um, a loving partner, um, and I feel like I've had the opportunity to appreciate the simpler things, uh, the simpler things that keep you going. The one walk a day became very special and it was a chance to appreciate the beautiful world that we live in and the nature. And I think what I have learned from this time is to never take anything for granted, to appreciate the simpler things and to recognise just how resilient people can be when they need to be. Right, thank you for listening.